Saturday night football, umpire Woodcock gets us underway. One down by Fraser. That man Foley again just keeps getting the football. Kicks it towards half forward. Brown being held no free. Foley, the only two kicks of the game. Well, how about that? Two possessions. And Polak, who started on the forward line, as we told you, was marked 25 metres out if that. And it's worked already, that undersized Collingwood defence. Polak coming out marking that ball. But what about Foley, the number one centre clearance player in the competition? And the way he followed that ball up, that's just magnificent play. In comes Polak then, played a lot forward, and he's kicked this goal. Played a lot forward for the Dockers, and just remember. Well, that is the perfect start for the Tigers. Graham getting the ball down. Here it is again, the centre bounce. In fact, it was Josh Fraser who goes hand on the ball, but it was Foley that roofed the ball out of that pack. What's the way he follows this up? Just straight back into the contest again. Just a quick boot to ball. Not sure where the ball's going to go, but Pollack, as the forwards often do, just reading the ball better in the air. The defender always goes to get his man first, and that's a perfect start. Kick three against the Bulldogs earlier this year when he went forward. Polak late in the match, almost won them the game on a Friday night. Chief Foley, what a start. The two kicks of the match so far. So the Tigers get the first one. Burns, here he is again, making a hat trick. Foley to set a half forward. Oh no, don't tell me. It's Groundhog Day. Oh no, it's not. Wow. Uh, you'll be sitting up the coach's box if you're Terry Wallace saying, OK, we'll send Polak forward. We'll see whether we can't get something out of him. We'll get a mismatch. And here he is lining up for his second goal in the first couple of minutes of play. I reckon Terry Wallace is feeling a whole lot better right now. Well, it's a wobbly old straight through the middle kick. Well, if it was a perfect start 30 seconds ago, Tim, what's it now? It's a brilliant start, and uh, Mick Moldhouse already has some concerns about whether or not he's got the right matchup for Polak. Five possessions in the game so far. Foley's got three, and Polak's got two. He's kicked two goals. <laughs> it's just a, an incredible start to a game. That ball didn't come off that sweet, off the boot that sweetly either. It swung in the air, but it actually went straight, and they are elated. Oh. Computer working overtime, five possessions, only two blokes have had them, two marks have been taken, one bloke has had those. The mix had enough. Somebody get on following. There's the bounce. Straight in, you look straight at him first. Ah. Free kick is going to Fraser. I thought for a moment that Foley was being shepherded. Ball comes out to Shaw. Shaw runs forward at the wing. First sortie forward here from Collingwood. Awkward half volley for Cloak. Johnson over his shoulder. There's our man Wilt across the boundary line. Thursfield will have a boundary throw in. What an amazing start. Watch in the background. I think our man gets shepherded. Here's a free kick. Just young kid Angus Graham up against oh. Fraser, who's got a bigger body than him. Shepherding off. I would have paid it to Foley. Umpires tonight Kennedy, Ryan, and Woodcock. Ben Johnson goes in. Jackson in the opposite direction. Scramble. Left half back. Ball up. Well, what a start here with Richmond. A couple of goals in the first two minutes. Foley and Polak combination. So Fraser with a, a two-hander. No Simmons in the ruck tonight. So a couple of relatively inexperienced ruckmen, particularly Graham, who's got the ball now and caught, and he'll have to do the ruck work in a moment. Patterson, the other ruckman. There's Nathan Buckley. Uh, thought that he might have been playing tonight, so they've just decided to be conservative again with him. Might be uh, playing next Friday night, which could be a big night here with David Neitz due for his 300. Cloak pushing forward, Rocker and Cloak and Davis, who just uh, toe poked it. Thurstville couldn't quite. Back to Swan. Swan, clever kick, Medhurst. Was he held on to? No. He looks back. No free kick. Dockers everywhere tonight. You know, more strength than Reigns playing him out of the goal square. Richmond are rolling the dice too, playing Bowden on Rocker. Tremendously undersized there, Bowden. If they can just isolate that matchup in the goal square, the, the Magpies, it's going to be in their favour. Rocker knocks it down. Lock you the hurried kick. Collingwood get their first goal.
That's an area, another area where Rocker can be really damaging at those stoppages in the forward line. They've only got some undersized players here. Look at this. He just reaches over the top of Joel Bowden and uh, Graham, who just hasn't got the body strength. Here it is. He's almost shepherded out of the ball there by Travis Cloak. Just lays it off to Lockyer, who's had a tremendous year. And that was a wonderful snap. Here it is again, just Rocker, just palming the ball back to that space. Look at the hit outs. Collingwood dominating his slot has had a super year. A lot of injuries in 03-04. He's played 77 consecutive matches now, going back to the middle of 2004. Brian's come on into the ruck. Patterson's come on to the ruck for Richmond. So we've got two changes there. They both went early. Patterson won the tap. O'Brien's little kick around the corner. King, one of three off the rookie list playing tonight for the Tigers. Thirstfield to Tivendale. They've got three 18-year-olds out there tonight. That's a great kick. Mm. So McGuan over the top of Tambling, his uh, teammate. Now Polak, the go-to man, inside the 50. Clement just gave him a little shove and then almost fell over. Polak couldn't quite break the tackle and then didn't earn the free kick. Pettifer was milking for one and it didn't come. Tuvi tried to get rid of it. Polak gets over the top of him. Will there be a free kick? No, ball up. Been very busy, has Polak in the first five minutes of this game. Exciting start, and the start this game needed. Clean possession, tuck, created some space, snaps and kicks a goal. What a beauty! Got that. Well, that's a great goal from a stompage. It was such a crowded one, too. Collingwood had really sent the numbers back. Look at around here. There's no clean punch away there. Tuck just took the ball straight out from the air. He's a strong player and a great snap across his shoulder. Just look at that again. No one able to smother that ball. Mick Boldhouse will be disappointed with his players not being able to get a hand on that. His father played more games than anyone in the AFL. He averages five clearances and five hardball gets. Same numbers at fold he's been averaging this year. Great spirit shown by the Tigers in the early part of this game. So Collingwood get a goal through at a stoppage through Lockyer and Tuck manages to match that for the Tigers and you add the Polak goals and they lead by two. Foley again to Patterson. Jackson paved the way. Tuck to King, to that man Foley, in trouble, still good enough, to King, backtracking, Thursfield, he's got some time, now he's almost running out, to Reigns, normally a good user, goes wide, and Bowden, who's a very good user of the footy, goes down the line, and Patterson takes it on his chest, looks slightly clumsy in the end. I reckon that's the wrong play. When the Tigers got back into the corridor then, I reckon they should have gone straight down to centre-half forward. They had one-on-one -on -one contest all the way. Richardson pushing up the ground. Brown. Centre away on his right foot. Newman on his left foot. Kicks. And hits the post. What a pulsating start. Brisbane Lions attacked the corridor against Collingwood a couple of weeks ago here and absolutely tore them apart. Shaw out of the back pocket decides to run it up kicks towards the wing Lockyer gave a contest the goal kicker's got it already two tonight for Polak kicks back inside the 50 Richardson <laughs> that's why they love him and that's a contender Matthew Richardson. Ice forming on his eyebrows. Kicks from 50. Well, the best and the worst. It slides off the outside of the boot. Live ball, close to goal. Clement, tackled by Jackson, managed to get it out. Snap from the congestion. Nathan Brown narrowly misses. Do you look dangerous as a forward line when you've got a two prong marking attack like Matthew Richardson and also Polak. That's the third mark they've taken inside their 50. And now McGuan 
The handball good. In the pocket, Patterson, and he hugged the boundary line all the way with the kick. So they've wasted a couple here, haven't they, the Tigers? They're right on top. He'll be reminded by his teammates that that ball should have been centred across to the top of the goal square. And probably a bit stiff. McGuan, not a good kick to Patterson, not a good kick in that situation. Had it been a Nathan Brown, they might have been on to something. Tuvi kept it in. Mm. Thomas, he's a star, isn't he? Took Tambling on and ran away from him and bounces it for a third, a fourth, a fifth. And then loads up to full forward. Davis, not quite. Well done, Newman. Davis all over the top. Oh. And that's out on the fall, I think. A bit stiff folly. Down to you, Rick. Ricky, what do you got for us? Josh Fraser, he's their number one Collingwood ruckman. He only rucked for the first three minutes of the game and then came off the ground and went onto the bike at the interchange bench. He did come into this game with an injury cloud, so it is strange the Richmond start that he is now on the bench. And then Davis just strolls around and hits the post like the bloke on him did earlier in Newman. So the two ones have hit the woodwork. There is Fraser. There was a doubt about him prior to the match. He warmed up in his tracksuit. So that would be interesting. No Simmons for the Tigers, remember. Looking despondent, too. Newman to bring it in. Told to hurry up. Needs to be pinpoint and wasn't. Lecuri got fingertips to it. Brian falling to the ground, a hand pass away. Foley once more, like a cork in the ocean, to Tambling. And they work it forward. Brown, Chippendale on the burst. Penetrating kick, deep into attack. Timely Fisk got it on the ground down there. Tuvi was the player, running out of space. Gold sack. Presto Giacomo. Tuvi somehow got through. Hugs the boundary with a kick. Could work out OK for Collingwood. No, close to the boundary. Midhurst can't keep it in. And the boundary throw in. It's a dangerous... Richardson working overtime to get back. Sorry, Dennis, it's a dangerous-looking Richmond forward line. They've got Polak, Richardson, Brown at ground level, Pettifer, and also Deligio down there. So they've got plenty of goal-scoring power. Terry Wallace has loaded up, hasn't he? Foley. Tambling. And then King. Not a great kick, but it was down the corridor. Edwards did pretty well. And then Polak and Clement get together. And here's Delidio on the left. He's timed it sweetly. Just with a hook, though. And Richmond dominating here, not quite getting the result they want on the board. But aren't they attacking the corridor? They're every opportunity they're bringing the ball back inside. Well, they've got Collingwood out of its comfort zone early, haven't they? Swan to Thomas. Thomas right on the wing then. Tigers by 13, but it's the way they're doing it. Reshaw runs, pushes down towards half foot. Beautiful kick. Medhurst. Getting the right of that and stop it. Just trying to work out who Reese Shaw actually ran off then. He's going back towards Nathan Brown. So it might have been Nathan Brown who wasn't quick enough on the transition. Nine goals, three from set shots this season. This is really position they had a kick from for a right footer. 40 metres out, should work it back right to left. He does all of that and kicks a goal. I think he's playing under some real pressure tonight too, Medhurst. Just look at uh, Reese Shaw just running here. There's Nathan Brown behind him, not quick enough to pick him up, and just plenty of time to execute that kick. And that's a beautiful space in a straight line towards goal that they've left open. Just on Medhurst, though, with Nathan Buckley maybe about to return, Didak out of the side tonight. You think Medhurst is really playing for a spot in this side there. He's going to need to really impress. Inside 50s, 8-3. to three. You talk about him playing for... A spot on the team. He kicked four against Richmond in round three. It was his one big game for the year. It was here on a Friday night at the G. They like that matchup with him and Reigns. They're playing him in the goal square. Reigns is the fullback. So Medhurst with an early goal. Brown crunched. Cloak coming in hard. And then Patterson and Thirstfield and Brown put a gang tackle on the big guy. And he is a big guy. Mm. Oh. So Brown did well to stand up in all of that. Free kick to Tuck. Shane Tuck, quickly. 50 metres.
Well, Hayden Kennedy warned him, and uh, Lockyer was just a bit slow to give the ball. Here's the free kick against Lecure. Just see him hanging on to Tuck's hand. Well spotted by the umpire. Well, he kicked a running goal early in the match. And he kicks from 50. Will it get there? Gee, doesn't have to. Deledio. Well, this is just a terrific start. And all the moves that Terry Wallace has made up forward are working. Deledio goals. Richmond get a fourth. Well, it is a dangerous-looking forward line, as we see Terry Wallace there just making some instruction again to his runner, probably about making sure that the forwards just keep rotating their starting positions out of the goal square. They've got the goal-kicking power there at the moment with the three-marking players. Delidio is actually very good above his head as well. So is Nathan Brown. So they've actually got four qualified... In fact, he's very pedal for that. They've probably got five qualified overhead marks in their forward line. So the coach facilitating some scoring. He's not happy. Terry Wallace would be delighted with this start. A long way to go, but he did say the word was out. He was taking the shackles off tonight and letting his team play. Maybe tactics are overrated. Scramble alongside the centre circle. A lot of kids in that Collingwood back line too. Harry O'Brien, Tuvi's down there, Goldsack's there. So... There are some players they can exploit the Tigers if they get the ball there quickly enough. Rucks go at it again. Lecuria trying to get out of there. That's holding it surely. Trying to improvise as he went to ground. Wasting no time. Tuck gave it out to Connors. Connors got a hand pass away to Howard. Howard inside the centre square. Kicks deep into attack. Once more, Richo off the ball. as a free kick going to the man who kicked the last goal. No, no, Richo. Fred Delinio. Thank you. Thank you. He played well for this Delinio. He actually saw that Richo was going to go for the ball, so he just propped and Tuvi went straight into his back over his shoulder. No question about that being a free kick. Just watch this again from a better angle. Just bang straight into his back. Right man to have the football from 40. Oh, maybe Richo should have taken the kick. Richmond leading their clearances 8-3, to three, so they're getting their hands on the ball in the important part of the ground, which is around the stoppages. 1-2 to Delidio. It's Tuvi's first match back since round 11. He debuted against the Tigers in round 3. Goldsack inside. Dropped by Tuvi. He's had a shaky start here to Reese Shaw. Shaw, that was touched. And then he butters up and did really well, didn't he? Obrey has had a good season. Missed last week. Only game he's missed, O'Brien's been a revelation to Clement, trying to build towards the finals. Neat looking kick to Lockyer. Well done, King. Very well done. Brown getting back deep. Releases Bowden. Bowden's kick to Edwards was a beauty. Hasn't played in a winning team, Edwards. This is his 13th game. He had it for too long. Maxwell. Out wide, Clement on his own, goes down the line, Medhurst gets it again. Now thinking back to that Friday night against Richmond, he kicked a couple from here where he brought the ball back from left to right. He kicked beautifully that night, he's already got one. Tim, I reckon he needs three or four, doesn't he? He does, he does, and they still, they like to go wide, the Magpies, they leave the space out wide, so they're not easy kicks when you're on an angle like this. 11 goals in 10 matches for the Pies in his first season before tonight. Four of them came against the Tigers. He's got one tonight, and that one, you can see the bend, never gave it the ride, and Collingwood miss. Really did some work, that kick, left to right. Newman to bring it in. Hit the post earlier, Chris Newman. Chance at a running goal. King finds some space. Best in the competition, the Tigers at scoring from these point kickings. Pardon? Jackson to Reigns. There's Richardson. Well done, McGuan. Goes inside the forward 50. Delidio, short handed. That's a terrific mark. Back about another meter, thanks, Thanks, mate. Does that mean, Tim, their opponents kick straight? 
No one scores more goals from point kick-ins than Richmond. Amazing. Richardson, tuck, high ball down towards full forward. Oh, almost a terrific mark by Heath Shaw. We've got a whistle. Wait, too you early. cannot be serious. Oh, I can't what? Hey, hey, don't do that. Hey, 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 hey don't go over it. I want you. Here it is here. There was contact there between Heath Shaw one, and the umpire. Hey, I'm with you, Heath. I'm with Heath. Totally. Shoulder surely, to shoulder. Surely you're allowed to do that shoulder to shoulder. Absolutely. He didn't almost use his marked hands. it. No, almost marked it. That's remarkable. Hayden Kennedy, normally one of the most astute. Oh, don't tell me. Pettifer misses. Pettifer in his 100th, missing from 25 metres out. Well, justice was done. Is that Karma again, Dennis? So you talk about. Cosmic Karma, Bruce. Burns to Fletcher Giacomo to Johnson. So Ben Johnson at half back. Oh. Kicks to Tuvi, who just is very nervous early, isn't he? Hopefully he'll settle. Connors to Reigns to Patterson to Thurstfield. Back to Howard. They've got themselves in a bit of a pickle here. Howard to Thurstfield. Takes a bounce. Well done. Newman able to run and straighten up. Oh. But the kick. Well, Jackson had to go for it, and he didn't. Shaw puts O'Brien under the pump. Back to Cook. Back to Lecuria. Back to Shaw. They did well. Collingwood to O'Brien and Maxwell, who just loads up from 65. Beautiful kick. And Davis will kick a goal. He will. Well, just think Jackson had to commit himself in the middle of the ground. He did. They had two players on. They tried to attack again. So Davis goals and Collingwood closed the gap. Well, they were attempting to play attacking football then, Richmond. They just got lost in the middle of the ground. They actually chose the wrong option here. They came back inside, then they got hurt on the turnover. And there was just a beautiful long kick to the goal square. Two players... Block, you could have marked that ball, left it for uh, left it for Davis. I think Terry Wallace will be still saying to his players, he'll be getting the runner out there saying, look, don't stop running, don't stop attacking. It served us well in the early part of this game. Leon Davis, the small forward. I've got two tonight. Shaw sure just uh, demonstrated to the umpire that he, he pushed Pettifer off, but you just don't let it touch those blokes. No. His action though on Pettifer was better than his action on Kennedy. Here's Burns. It was shoulder to shoulder. Lecuria down towards half forward. Maxwell gets it across. Fraser kicks inside the forward 50. Rocker is down there. Fell over. Loose ball at the back. Davis arrives with speed. Slipped over. Unfortunate. In trouble. Bowden. Reigns running out of space. Hut against the boundary line. Slips it away. Foley, who started brilliantly, buys some time to the run of King. King up towards center half back, kicks to the wing. Polak, who, like Foley, was in everything at the start, they simply waxed. First five possessions. Here's Richardson. Richardson, finesse, not necessarily his number one attribute. And across the boundary line goes Brown, and we'll have a boundary throw in. And that's the poor kick of Polak that put Richo under pressure then. That kick should have hit its target. They had plenty of space to operate in then. They'd thought it out well, Richmond, until that point. Ah! Patterson at the back of Fraser. So good to see Fraser back on the ground. No chance. To Fraser. Advantage. Advantage to Swan. Maxwell and McGuan. Maxwell used his body very well and then tries to run off McGuan. Thomas to get involved as well. He went out in a hurry. Newman or oh, McGuan. Tamley got a high tackle. No free kick. And then Medhurst squeezes wide to Cloak. He just hasn't had a lot of luck early. Thirstfield. King backtracking in a hurry. He's been good King early. His choices have been pretty good so far. That puts Johnson in the driver's seat. That was a wonderful kick. 
drove Johnson back to create the space. Johnson to Bowden. Most interesting stat of the night or stats. What would the critics know? We were talking before about Rocker and Cloak as the power forwards. Neither one has had a stat. No possessions. Here's Patterson. Told to play on. Deposit done really well. Saw a bloke last. In. Sorry, saw a bloke last Friday night that didn't get a stat either. Big power forward. That's right, we did too. But he took a mark. To this kid was impressive last week. Connors cross half back. Just his second game. 26 touches. Connors feeds it back to Barden. They work it out slowly. Johnson. But I think if it had said to. The Tigers earlier today, it'll be 28 to 20 at quarter time. They would have settled for that. So quickly out of the blocks, five possessions, two goals. The five possessions shared between two players. Tambling, gave it across towards Pettifer, kicks it inside the 50. The ball loves Richo. Richo loves the ball. He didn't want to get rid of it. Down goes Shaw. And it's against Richardson. And just talking about this start. I think the start will please concern of East Melbourne who sent me an email today asking if Richmond lose tonight, are they mathematically eliminated from next year's finals? The answer is no, that's stupid. And uh, it could be academic. Cloak to King. Gee, King was good again. And then from about 90 metres, Richo and Presti. Delidio, Delidio free kick. Tim Conning would have given away a few free kicks in front of goal tonight. Maybe not all of them have been justified, but Delidio's been a recipient on a couple of occasions. That was definitely a free yep. kick then. Pettifer got maybe the lucky one, but he missed. But Delidio to kick his second, and the Tigers have earned this lead. And they've almost doubled Collingwood in the contested possession. Now, Collingwood are the number one side in the competition for contested possession, so they're matching them in that area around the stoppages, around the scrimmages. That kick was a really bold kick too because Jackson was the half kick. He was free just inside 50. They elected to go long to a two-on-three just to attack the goal face, and it paid dividends. And that move of Delidio forward has been good too. Pollack forward, he's been an instrumental player, so it's all working for Terry at the moment. 34 players, 20, approaching quarter time on Friday Night Football. And some teams around the competition would be wishing the Tigers well from here on in. Those teams below Collingwood all pressing for a spot, maybe in the top four, certainly in the eight. Pettifer comes away. Thursfield goes back. This is Bowden. Short one. Pettifer runs on, not 15. Pettifer, with some time, took most of it. Goes down towards half forward, Tambling. That was a good kick, and Tambling did well. He's taken the mark. Just forward of the centre circles. Two and a half minutes till quarter time. Where's Richo? The Foley is a genius inside at the centre clearances, isn't he? Genius. There goes the kick from Tambling. He's very good. Over the top, McGuan found it on the ground, kicked it straight up in the air. Marks his own ball. Haven't seen that since the under 10s. Cloak <laughs> drags McGuan down and will have a ball up. That's worthy of a replay. Foley's already had four clearances in the early part of this game. He's averaging six this season. He's not a great kick, Dennis McGuan, you might have noticed. Well, it was effective. Around the pack, a chance for Lockyer. Down he goes, he was pushed in the back. He's a very good competitor, McGuan, but kicking's not his absolute strength. But he found himself with that one, didn't he? Yeah. That's a great Gee, kick. That is a kick, Locker. To Presti Giacomo, to Johnson. Just too far for Rocker. And Bowden was off. <laughs> Howard, important ball oh. here. Lacuria, Lacuria misses. Oh. Oh, great pressure. Great pressure. So the Tigers get out quickly to Bowden. And then Bowden down the line. 
And did Richo mark it? Well, he was paid. Ricky, just a quick one from you. Josh Fraser, what do you reckon? He's, he came back on. Is he going to be OK? Well, he's just came back off the ground again, Bruce, and he's not covering the ground. I've normally seen Josh cover before, and his right shin is very heavily strapped, so there's definitely a problem there with Josh. Tamlin gets it from Bowden. Well, Richmond leading here by a couple of goals. It's been a long time since they actually won a quarter, let alone a match. Gee, that was a brave kick. Hung in there a long time to McGuan. So McGuan from the heart of the centre square. Good mark too. Dunawood's half forward. Taken by Swan. Beyond the wing with that kick. An awkward one for the leading forward, Clark. Thursfield took it away from him. Playing with confidence. Now Pettifer leading back is Patterson. The longer kick could go across to Richardson and or Polak. Well, what's he done? This one is working back. Don't tell me. <laughs> the third of two options. That's a goal. Gee, I reckon he had to keep that too. There were a couple of players that would have been asking some questions at the top of the square had he not kicked that. Here's Thursfield. He's had seven disposals in the early part of this quarter. Good kick out there to Pettifer against Cloak's one. So he's well on top of Cloak. We've got Bowden, who's well on top of Rocker as well. So they've cut out their two main forwards. But that's a wonderful kick there by Pettifer. Well, in his 100th, he's uh, jagged one, has he? Missed the easy one, Pettifer, and got the impossible one. Mickey Moldhouse, well, he was here last year, wasn't he, when uh, Essen and bottom of the table were Collingwood, who were in exactly the same position. Tim, they haven't won a quarter, Richmond, since the first quarter over Hawthorne in round 15. That's how long since they've outscored another team in a quarter. And here they lead 6-3 to three as the ball's inside 50 again. And Collingwood just a little rattled for the moment. Cook did well, out wide. Lockyer, such a good player. Just a fumble or two. Brian, who might have to do a lot of work tonight. He's a good kick inside the 50. Thirstfield. Well, the Tigers, eh? They're roaring. They came out with some punch. And at quarter time, it's 40 to 21. This is Friday Night Football. Matthew Richardson in the opening term. Dennis, just looking at a couple of matchups. Uh, Cloak against Thursfield. Thursfield's had eight. Cloak's had one touch. Bowden's had nine to Rockers. None at this stage. Second term, Friday night football. Tigers searching for their second win of the season. Uh, the Ruckman touched the ball. Graham almost got it out. Down goes Lockyer. Swan over it. Takes a tumble. Thank you. In fact, it's O'Bree who's in the midst of that. We'll have a ball up. In fact, it's Swan. So bounce alongside the centre circles. A lot of pushing. And Fraser gets the free. Fraser spends some time on the bench in the opening term. Long probing kick. Rocker completely misjudging his jump. Arriving, though, and not misjudging too much was Maxwell. Well, the hand pass wasn't that effective. And they bring it away. Newman got it from Tivendale. Kicks it up towards the wing. Jackson can run. Heading for space is Brown. Kick goes in that direction. It wasn't a great kick. It held Brown up. Arriving smartly. Delidio got it away to Edwards. Back to Delidio. Rose tackle. is the umpire. Great tackle. Great body play there by Heath Shaw and Nathan Brown too. Goal sack quickly away. The kick comes from Shaw. Thomas. So Collingwood. Take it inside there, forward 50. Bounces just in front of Medhurst. Turned his marker around. Arriving quickly was Davis. Still Davis. Goes with the left foot, bending it back. Too late. Behind. He's getting better, isn't he, Davis? He's a very, very good footballer. And he's having another strong season. He had a great start to last year and then got injured. Cloak's been taken from the ground now, so Mick Moldhouse has gone with a slightly different setup in his forward line. Maxfield, uh, sorry, Maxwell looks to be the place across in a half forward now. So Newman uses it to Thursfield, to Foley, to Graham. Played at Geelong last week in his opening game. Now back to Foley. And this kick's got to be accurate. And he found his man in Jackson, one of the two 
players coming into the team tonight. How the other one? No Simmons, no Revolt. So two tools out. That kick Pettifoot was cut off by Lockyer. Reshaw cleverly back to Lockyer. Uses Johnson. Now Johnson, now that was clever. Sold the, the dummy. Was going to use Reshaw. Now Lockyer back to Johnson and releases him onto his left foot, which suits him just fine. Well done by Thursfield. Thomas King was very good against him. Davis normally good in this situation. And the kick's a beauty. It wobbled, but the direction was first class. And Rock is in the game for the first time tonight. Got about a metre. One metre from here. Oh, good. Thanks, Dale. It's all finished. Yeah, got a metre. And just with one of their big tools off the ground in the forward line, they just look a little bit more mobile, the Magpies, inside their attacking 50. So the big guy, the big forward, who kicked four in the last quarter against Carlton last week when they needed him. He's had a pretty good year. It's one of those players. He can have the odd day or two, but he has a lot of big days and nights, and Rocker gets his first. That was a great kick to Rocker, who started out of the square against Bowden. Here's the setup again. Thomas just getting the ball away. This bloke's really clever. Davis and just kicking it back to that space in front of the top of the square. If they can isolate this matchup, there's Rocker against Bowden. He's so much bigger than Joel Bowden, giving away a lot of size. Wallace will be hoping that he can at least bring the ball to ground and start some attacking moves from deep in defence. Anthony Rocker turns 30 next week, and there's Michael Malthouse, his first ever game as a coach. An old Tiger was against the Tigers, round one, 1984. Footscray won by 39 points. And after that early goal to his star forward, he's feeling on better terms with himself. Tuck to Tambling. The run's still there for the Tigers. Man on across the ground. He goes to Tivendale. Alongside the centre circles, Tivendale. Richardson leads. Initially, that's ignored. So he comes back to our broadcast side. Jackson, 70 <laughs> metres from goal. They could have taken that kick the first time in. Holak is deep. Ignored. This is Graham. Comes to Newman. Newman's kick low and hard down towards Richo. Not the ideal service for the big man. Goldsack runs away with it. Kicks and kicks Trolley. This is Fraser. And that's a telling kick to Lock. He didn't have to break stride. Goes inside the 50. Rock a wonderful courage, Thursfield. Rock has paid the mark. And as a result, no advantage can be paid. That was great courage there from Thursfield, but he just couldn't get enough of his mid on the ball. Here's Rocker just pushing down the way with disdain as he heads towards the ball. That was wonderful play there by Thursfield. Great courage to go back. I'm not sure he actually held onto the ball long enough then, Rocker, though, to be paid a mark. Yeah, Thursfield terrific, singing his praises, and Rocker's got the football, but Thursfield knew it was Rocker, and that's a big body coming up behind you at speed. No hesitation to go back. Stood for naught, but the coach would love it. Rocker right behind him, not a good kick. Sprays it way out to the left. Out of bounds on the full. So a disappointing result there, obviously. Tigers have had a couple of chances going inside 50 in this term, and they've just wasted it. Thirstfield. Yeah. There for the moment ago, Dennis summed up so well, and then Richardson. That's a terrific market pace. That's better. They need that player coming off half forward for the backs to actually aim the ball towards. They've been missing that on a couple of occasions. And Newman is a good kick. So Richardson to the hot spot at centre half forward. King to try and do the roving, and McGuan can he get the handball away? Decides not to, and the kick's a terrible one to Swan, so McGuan's had three very poor kicks tonight, Lockyer outstanding early to Thomas, they've got to try and stop his run, he'll fancy himself from 50 on the burst, how good is he? Now that's good Bruce, but if you rewind it all the way back to McGuan's kick 
here's the setup. It goes to Lockyer back inside. They're on the re. They, they caught them offside here, the Magpies. That's a pretty simple kick, really, for someone who's got some skill at about 50. But it was McGuan's kick again that didn't hit its target. He's missed the target on three occasions. He just has to get better in that area of his game. Wonderful effort by Dale Thomas, breathing heavily, as well he might, margin six points. And the problem is, for that man, despite their dominance, the Tigers now are being challenged. You look forward line for the Magpies, and it's working at the moment, and paced through the midfield after Richmond mistakes, tambling, wing well inside the centre square, Johnson away to King. King swings it wide, beautiful kick, Jackson should mark and does. He's about 80 metres from goal. Tippendale breaks for him. Comes back to the middle. Johnson. Tippendale is still free. That's ignored. Long ball down towards full forward. Richardson will get a free. You did not have any eyes on the ball, Simon Preston And that's what they have to do, Dennis. Simon. Johnson did exactly the right thing then, just swung around on his right boot, got it there quickly. They had one-on-one -on -one contest, and that forced the mistake there for Preston G. Come look at him. He's worried about gathering Richo. Doesn't face the ball. Mm. So Richardson, 15 metres out, straight over the goal umpire's hat. That's going to be the message from Terry Wallace to his players. Once they break from the centre of the ground, trust your instincts, get it there as quickly as you can. That was just a ball that was kicked to the hot spot quickly, but it forced an error from the Collingwood defence. They are undersized. They are going to be consumed when the ball comes in quickly, long and high. And already in this game, I think they've given away five free, four free kicks. Four free kicks to defensive uh, players. Tim, four free kicks inside 50 the Tigers have received tonight. Well, they get the ball there quickly. They've got some dangerous players, Richmond. So they get it back to a two-goal game after Collingwood had eroded that 19-point lead. And quarter time, Fraser still in the ruck, but Patterson able to get a second crack at it and then bang it towards that forward 50. Pettifer with the ball just kept running away from everybody. Lecuria, good strong tackle from Delidio in tight. Richmond doing well. And then Jackson loads up from outside 50 and bangs away to the pocket. And that's not a terrible result. No. He had the big game, the Dreamtime game, didn't he, Jackson, where he kicked three against the, the Bombers and kicked a ripper from the pocket that night. So Collingwood just a couple of goals down here, but it was a shaky first quarter. Fraser, oh, robbed by Brown. That is a magnificent goal. Oh, that's an Oliver twist, pick your pocket. That. Have a look at the way that he was able to... Josh Fraser thought he was away. He grabbed the ball in the ruck, and that uh, was just a wonderful bit of play from Nathan Brown. That's the second time the Tigers have scored from a throw-in deep in their forward line. It was Tuck in the first quarter, and then it was just a clever Brown. And he is clever. Oh, he's clever, all right. There's a magic by that man. Got to pick a pocket or two. Nathan Brown kicked five goals against the Magpies round eight, 2005, two weeks before he broke his leg on Friday night football. Wonderful piece of work. 52 plays 34. And he's misjudging his run completely at the moment. It's Josh Fraser getting right under the football. Scramble, tuck, had it, lost it. Cook left the ball behind. Johnson, the bodies go in willingly. Cook. Rains and the umpire calls for it. Just mistiming his run and his leap. He's been doing it virtually all night, Josh Fraser. This is easier because there's no line across the middle, but very conscious of Patterson. He won it, but straight to Tuck to Rains. Now, Rains ducked. He saw it coming, gets the free. Fair enough. They have to move the ball quickly from here. No short. This is Connors inside the centre square to half forward. Big leap at the back, Deledio. Growing in stature tonight, kicks inside the forward 50, tambling at the back. 
and sliding across, ghosting in on the angle, was Tivendale to take the mark. And Dennis again, that was a great mark by Deledio, but he just played on, he rolled on, he just forced something down the field to happen. That ball wasn't directed to Tivendale, he just read the ball off the boot, but it was kicked to the dangerous part of the forward line. Go on, give that away. Takes too much out of you. Jacko doesn't mind that, though. Tivendale comes in and nails it. Great mark. Beautiful finish. Blood rule's been activated, too, so Johnson's just received a bit of cut above the eye after that old occasion with Jackson. But I reckon the runner's got to get out there for Richmond again just to remind those midfield players any time you get the ball outside the attacking 50, roll on like you just see Delidio do there, just rolled on and created that goal-scoring opportunity there for Tivendale, who read the ball beautifully off the boot. He's a, one, he's a great player, this Delidio. He's got a great set of hands. And Tivendale is putting his hand up to play again next year. I mean, he could have been on the scrap heap. He's under pump too. He's had a pretty good year. He kicked a couple early last week before he got flattened at Geelong. Great to see Delidio, Brown, Richardson, Pollack all firing up forward for the Tigers. That's a great sign. Biggest margin of the match. 24 points. Pettifer and Hardo, Bree over the top. And again, a ball up. So Rocker there with a goal and a miss. Nathan Buckley will be talking to him at half-time and winding the clock back with Peter Dacos. Here on Seven's Friday Night Footy. Shaw, Thursfield, Cloak with him. So Cloak back on the field, goes back to Burns. Burns at about 80 metres, kept his head into O'Brien. Been quiet, Burns. He's been picked up by Kane Johnson. So O'Brien, left foot towards goal. Good kick, Tuvi. Oh. Well, he couldn't quite Shoot. hold the mark. He's just having one of those nights, Tuvi, isn't he? It was almost a free kick then. Down back early. So Bowden to bring it in. Tigers with a four-goal lead. A couple of things emerging already. As Bowden kicks to himself and goes short to the pocket. Must have been close to 15. Jackson, awkward situation. Bowden just overlapping. Make sure that's 15. Goes to King. One is Richmond challenged have come back very strongly. It got to six. Now it's back out to 23. That's a great sign for them. And the other would be teams around the league would be watching very closely at what Richmond have done tonight. Loading up height and agility on their forward line. Oh. Collingwood having a lot of difficulty coping. Edwards, Reigns, comes across the ground. McGuan had it knocked away by Medhurst. Connors didn't have the football. Could have almost got a free. Goes again. Now he's holding it. Medhurst over the top. Umpire Woodcock looking on. Oh, the crowd will not be happy. You dragged it in too. He had it too. He dragged it in. No, no, he dragged it in. Is he saying Medhurst dragged it in? That's what he's saying. Let's watch it close again. There it was dragged in by Connors. Well, Medhurst a helping hand, but certainly Connors... Well, intents and purposes. Ball long towards full forward. Rocker, almost the juggled one. Weight of numbers, though, tells the story. <laughs> Pettifer and Barden, a little one-two. Johnson joining in. Measures the kick. Comes to McGuan, the defensive side of half-back. Ten and a half minutes out from half-time. And the Tigers back in the ascendancy. Not a good kick. Bounces on the wing. Clement tries to beat a tackle improvises marvelous stuff knocked down by richardson arriving quickly good balance initially reigns wonderful balance from shaw thomas's hand pass was wide of the mark the Lidio, foley mcguan reigns whoops connor's left it behind reigns tidies up johnson spots a man that's graham goes to him coming up clement did brilliantly knocked it down in front thomas clement and he's got support behind him Preston Giacomo, a bit too slick for Thomas. Thomas just winded at the moment. He's been running hard, not 15. O'Brien's got it. Gee, interesting passage of play, wasn't it, for both teams? Now Reese Short, he was off. Quick handball out. Tuvi, who's just having one of those nights. He will settle Thursfield to Johnson. Back to Thursfield. Good kick. 
And finally, maybe some clean footy because we haven't had any for a couple of minutes. Tambling gets it from Bowden. Now, he wanted to take Goldsack on. He still wants to take him on. Twinkle toes, a bounce. He has to get rid of it in a hurry. Not good play. Howard then drops it down. And Collingwood might get out of this. Tamling put them in a real spot there. It's got to keep their head in, Richmond, they Tim. They're yeah. in a very good position. They could be five or six in front of half time if they play their cards right. Because right now, Collingwood is going up and down in the one spot. Cook, Lecuria, use his head there. From the wing down towards half forward, close to the boundary line. It stays in at least initially. Bowden, well, made it too easy for Cloak. Cloak's kick not good back towards the middle. Davis trapped it effectively. Cook gave it away. Tuvi back to Davis. Right on the 50. Long kick. Midhurst likes this situation. Battle of bodies. McGuan, though, in the air, not to be taken lightly. He did well, then he just pushed back hard with his body and claimed Midhurst. He looked to be out of position there. Medhurst just couldn't get his hip into action. Just watch this again. That was really good play there. Good defensive play. Terrific stuff. So behind. I'm not sure about his kicking tonight, though, McGuan. There might go be a message goes out from the runner that it's not McGuan that they want the ball in the hands off coming off half back. Everything else is doing really well, isn't he? I mean, a great handball in the middle of the ground a moment ago. Kane Johnson. So the Tiger captain. And Richardson forced under the ball and a boundary throw in. Well, when they got hammered Collingwood here a couple of weeks ago, Max will kick four of their seven goals. He's their wild card, you think. So the other thing that's happening here, Tim, and can't take anything for granted in the AFL. I think people thought Collingwood could get some percentage in the next two weeks. Too high. Chris Bryant, you're freaking... Bring it back, you're It'll up. Come you're come back. Well, come the back Richmond midfield it. actually matches up really well with the Collingwood midfield. And Kane Johnson's doing a good job on Burns. Definitely a free kick there. Collingwood's biggest win for the year, 33 points. That ball in short to Swan from Shaw. But they're taking a long, long time to get to Richmond, let alone get in front of them. Now Swan will kick from about 48. He's been averaging 24 disposals. He had 35 in round three against the Tigers. Collingwood need a goal. Just inside the 50, good kick. Richmond is smashing them in disposals at the moment, 164 to 109 Collingwood. That's not unusual for Collingwood. What the Tigers can't do at the moment, though, is they can't move the ball from half back as well as what Collingwood seem to be able to use the ball once they get going. They kick really well down the line, Collingwood. They like to go out wide, but they do kick particularly well down the line. They're the number one kicking side in the competition. In the last three seasons, that man, Dane Swan, might be the most improved player in the AFL. That 35 Bruce was talking about equaled his career high. Well done by Patterson. Foley burst out of the middle, runs down towards centre half forward, wobbles one towards the pocket, coming up Clement, trying to juggle a mark, Delidio creates some space, it could run on, it does run on! Don't they look dangerous? That ball didn't hit its target, Clement almost claimed it as a mark, but once again it was Foley who's just putting his footwear back on again. It just dashed out of the centre here. Lecurio picked him up at that stoppage. That's his fifth clearance for the game. The ball just skewed off the side of his boot, but it was just the ability of Delidio to win another contested ball. That's his eighth for the game so far, Delidio, and that's a magnificent stat for somebody who's playing as a permanent forward. Well, the number one draft kick kicks three goals for the first time in a match. He's kicked three two tonight. First time he's got above a couple in the game. Used as a forward here and working. So Richmond with the answers. Every time Collingwood have got close or threatened to get close, Richmond have been able to get one. Tamlin got a high one there. It was inadvertent, but it was high. And the ball up. It's going back to that Collingwood, their percentage, they're on the same number of wins as West Coast, Hawthorne and Port, but they're about 9% behind the three of them. And percentage is something that I think they were looking at in the next fortnight, or their fans were anyway. 
But right now, they'll be doing really well to get four points. Brian did very well. It was a bit too easy. Thomas, terrific. Can he do it for the second time in the quarter? You betcha. He's got some footy smarts, hasn't he? He just ducked out. Here he goes. Just watch him in the top of the screen there. Now he's calling for the ball. Just realised that Brian was going to win the ball. He said, OK, I can now put myself into attacking position. We're going to win the ball. And that's exactly what he did. And uh, really, Richmond should have been able to tie Brian up. And Tim, his first instinct is always to take the man on, to play on. He to loves to something. run with the footy. Two goals tonight, 16 for the season. Almost deja vu, that running goal from right on the 50. Press the Giacoma. Getting some work done. 64 48. Patterson on the way down. Burns has been quiet. Attracted a crowd. We'll have a ball up alongside the center circles. So a testing time now, approaching half time for the Magpies. They've traded on grit. A lot this season. They need to find some here. Reigns after some good work. Some assistance coming from Foley. Reigns pulls it back. Johnson. Johnson to half forward. Brown stretches, takes the mark. Richardson, where is he? On the move, about 25 metres from goal. Brown ignores that. Spotted a man getting in behind the defence. Patterson. And Patterson has paid the mark. He's such a good ball user, isn't he, Nathan Brown? There's a, there's a very disorganised Richard Ford line then. Four of the forwards actually led to the same position. He waited for that space to open up and then just kicked the ball right across ground. That's a wonderful kick. Patterson made his debut against the Magpies, round eight, 2005. Three possessions that night. He had three in the opening five minutes. And the latest possession is a telling one. He puts it through. He's had ten possessions, his first goal. That's a great effort from him because uh, in the lead-up to this game when they lost Simmons, I thought that's an area where Collingwood might have been able to exploit them with Fraser and also Brian. Bigger bodies in the ruck against the two youngsters in Patterson and also Graham. But Patterson's really stood up for the Tigers so, so far in the game. How critical are these clearances? And great to see from Terry Wallace's perspective too, the Tigers answering the goals kicked by Collingwood. Terrific goal, Patterson. We saw Presti's neck being worked on, Ricky. Yeah, Presti's already copped a couple of heavy knocks in this game. In the first quarter, he's winded. Second quarter, he copped a heavy knock to the head. He's been complaining of blurred vision. That's why the doctor is working on his neck. And they've had to rearrange their back line. Clement's gone to Richardson. Thanks for that. So, Collingwood just having to juggle a bit. Davis running hard. Went to ground. There wasn't a free. And then Lecuria to Burns. Good kick. I think he's gold. Well, it's raining goals at both ends now. At the moment, whoever gets the centre square clearance is kicking the goals. A bit like basketball. It is. It? It's very much like basketball. The thing that uh, Mick Moldhouse is concerned about, or should be concerned about now too, is the uh, Lockyer, who he would prefer to be playing in the midfield because they are leaking a bit down back at the moment. They've had to push him back into defence. Maxwell, who actually started the game really well and looked to be a winning forward for them, has had to go back too because Preston Giacomo has gone off the field. Burns sits down after kicking that goal. There you go, Tim. Happens all the time. Five goals each in the second quarter. Who'll win it out of the centre this time? It's like the luge. You just take it right down your end. Away we go. O'Brien inside the forward 50. Well, it's going to happen again. Davis lines up, goes in, kicks it. Well, that's how critical clearances are in modern day football. I reckon that's probably, is that the sixth or seventh goal scored this quarter that's come directly from a centre square clearance? It is so open in there. At the moment, it's such an open Collingwood forward line, too. They've only got five inside their attacking half because the Tigers have got a seven man forward line. They've sent an extra player back to pick up the spare Collingwood player. 
Six goals in the last 18 kicks in the match. Four to Collingwood and two goals to Richmond. So we're averaging three kicks a goal right now. Well, that's how we started the match, wasn't it? With yeah. Foley and Polak. And now Brian again. So Collingwood could be in front of the half-time here. Medhurst not quite. Ball comes to ground. Davis was swooping. Well, Nathan Brown went into that last centre square for the Tigers alongside Foley. They just need to and tuck. play tough here, the Tigers, don't they? Well, Tuck took that out of the air and then hoists it to centre wing. Richardson, well, nilly. He's going to say, well done. Couldn't quite. Reshaw, Lockyer. Tim talked about him being taken down back. So Michael Malthouse. I'm happy here. That blood pressure would be going up <laughs> right there and then, wouldn't it? Foley's tackle good, but Reshaw was very good, and Lockyer was even better to Aubrey, to Thomas, who charges away and then kicks to Rocker, who got turned inside out. Medhurst, good pick up, really clever, wants to work his man, comes back and finds Thomas. It was good footy, right from back here at halfback. It's attacking up in football, isn't it? At the moment, they're just great leg skills here by Medhurst. And then just smart play to lay the ball off to Thomas. He's an old-fashioned match winner, I reckon, Thomas. He's a sort of bloke. He did it in Sydney earlier this year when they needed something special, Colin, when he produced it. And he's producing a second quarter here that's really bringing them back into this game. Can he kick a third second quarter goal? No, he doesn't. He does a terrible kick. He's still a match winner. But just not there and then. He's been running so hard, I think he's almost exhausted. The fact that his kick right there, even his last goal didn't go that truly in terms of how it left the boot. This is Newman. Mick moments ago, like a backwards evangelist. Just hitting that window. A variation on I can feel your pain. There goes the kick inside the forward 50. Loose at the back. Here's a chance for Rocker. Stolen away by Newman. Now Foley. He is the spiritual leader, speaking of evangelists, of this team. He should be captain next year. He drives it up towards the wing. O'Brien leads back. Haven't seen a lot of him. Delidio seen a lot of him. Goes down towards half forward. Cleared the man in front. That was McGuan, stolen away by Maxwell. Maxwell kicks it back towards the wing. Collingwood with a chance now. Lecuria, Johnson sent away on his left foot. Davis has got it. Long in the square. Rocker wants it. Davis has got other problems. A little <laughs> understated. The ball goes inside the forward 50. And what a mark. Cloak stretching has marked 40 metres out. Gee, Maxwell's one on one against Polak was important down the other end, wasn't it? It was. <laughs> That's a good kick by Johnson. They've got plenty of space to operate in when they go forward, Colin. They ain't got to go with, at the moment, they've got a five man forward line. So when they do break from half back, it spells danger for the Richmond defence. Starts at left and it stays left. Just picking up something I said there, Tim. I mean, Foley really is the man that senses the problem and really fires and ignites this team. Saw that contact off the ball. Nothing untoward. So can Richmond hang on to this lead at half time? Being whittled away, it was uh, 24 points. Tuck gets it from Bowden. And this has been a criticism of Richmond. Decision-making under pressure. Now, they're under pressure. Let's see how clever they can be, how clinical they can be with the footy. There That's a bad kick. Puts Tevendale under the pump, and he has to go to the boundary line. You're spot on. As soon as they can't move the ball quickly to a free player and Collingwood shut them down, they're in trouble. They don't play... I mean, this is like tempo football. They just don't play this sort of football very well. So Brian and Graham. You see second match, Graham. Tuck. Nearly, not quite. Thomas, clever. Foley, brilliant. Did so well in a tight one. Pettifer, not quite. Goldsack was brave there. Heathshaw sweeps the handball. Gives Lecuria a bit of a task, but he's OK. Lockyer's been brilliant in the first half. And then delivers to Rocker.
He did that so well then. Watch this. He just leaned on Bowden. Bowden waited and waited until the player actually had control, was looking downfield, and then he made his move. Here he is just waiting, waiting, and then provides a lead. It's so, such a big frame to be aiming the ball towards, too. And it was good decision-making by Collingwood in some traffic, wasn't it? Lock your finishing off. Now can Rocker give it the result that it deserves? He kicked one, he then missed one. This to bring Collingwood within a kick. It's not going to come back. So Rocker, three shots for goal for one. We saw Cloak miss one a little earlier. So the Tigers will lead, you'd reckon, at the long break. I think if Don King was promoting this game, maybe we'd go to penalties and Richo and Rocker would be the men who took them. There goes Newman outside the 50. Fraser, uncontested, hit the ground running. Rocker's in trouble, tambling, frisking him. Back comes Fraser, got through, brilliantly done. Lecuria needs support back to Rocker. Not the man he was hoping for. Swan, deep in the pocket, across the face of goal. Big leap, Medhurst off his fingertips and across the line. And we're down to 32 seconds. So boundary throw in coming up. Collingwood with a chance to get within two points at half time. Tigers need to hold. Bit of a push there. Play goes on. Tuck. Johnson stripped of the football. King in desperate trouble. McGuan down he went. Not such a bad thing really. It's built to a teammate. McGuan's finishing and kicking hasn't been great tonight. Nobody had in mind though. Here's Cloak. Slips a hand pass away. Lockyer. Cloak inside the forward. 55 seconds. Collingwood need a mark. The whistle's gone. The crowd collectively hold their breath. Swan goes in, but it's coming back. It's a Richmond free. They get 50. If it's McGuan, the answer would be no. And I think the answer might be just how long will you make the That's 50 right. for me? What can you do for me? <laughs> yeah. So who's got the kick? I think they've opted not to take it. Common sense prevails. Let's get out Nathan Brown with Ricky Alarenjo. Well, Brown, it's been a real shootout, but it's great you've taken in a half-time lead. Yeah, it's been a great start. I mean, the last few weeks, I mean, all year we've had good first halves and then fallen away, so we're going to go in, regroup, steal ourselves up, because this is where we've fallen away in the last, I guess, all year. So, I mean, this second half is crucial. We can't make the finals or anything, but we're playing for pride. It looks like Terry's allowed you guys to take a few risks tonight. Yeah, we're playing one-on-one, -on -one, and we're playing on whenever we get the chance. I mean, we're playing on our instincts. He told us to go out and play like playing under 12s. That's what the boys are doing tonight, and we're having a bit of fun. Gavin Jalea, Ford's allowed you to push into the midfield. Yeah, it's been fantastic. He's done his job. He's kicked three goals. He uh, gets tagged every week, so free him up, and he's affecting the scoreboard, which is great. All right, really appreciate your time, Brown. Good luck the second half. Who would have thought Ricky Olerenshaw was that unpopular? Actually, that booing was for the umpires. It's half time, and the margin is eight points. The Tigers are on top. This is Friday Night Football. Half back. I just can't see how they're going to actually be able to conjure up scores. Start of the second half. Friday Night Football. It'll be interesting to see if Josh Fraser has made some adjustments here in the centre. Well, not really. It's one down behind by Graham initially. Comes to Tivendale. Tackled front on by Lecuria. Another bounce. Just seems out of sorts, Josh, tonight. So agile for a big man, but this suits him a little better when he can body up. Got first hand to it. Lecuria flicks it across to Burns. Burns taken down immediately. And the umpire will do it again. The margin was 19 points at quarter time. The Tigers' way started brilliantly. Five possessions, two goals. Collingwood hadn't touched the ball. Two players only in amongst those possessions. Foley with three. Pollack two kicks, both of them goals after two marks. Free kick going to Reese Shaw. And uses a run of Lockyer, who had an outstanding first half. So Lockyer loads it up, cloaks in the box seat, first field at the back. Rocker rode brilliantly and kicks his second. And the first for the second half. And the message will go straight out to young Edwards about making sure that he is on 
Lockyer as soon as there is a turnover. There's the hand in the face there from Tambling. Here's Lockyer, just ran off Edwards just as soon as the umpire pointed Collingwood's way. He took off like a rabbit into the space out onto the wing. And there's the two, there's the big player there in cloak just drawing the two Tiger defenders to the contest and Rocker just staying down, kicking that ball right up on the third tier of the MCG stand. Anthony Rocker, his best effort against Richmond 5, round 5 of 98 on Friday night football. That night, Sav booted 4. Tonight, Anthony's got a couple. And the Magpies closer than they've been at any stage in this game since the 42nd mark of the opening tour. I mentioned those five possessions for two goals. Fraser better that time. Judged it, won it down. Foley has been terrific. His 15th possession, Tambling's hand pass, a hand pass in hope. Overrunning the ball was Swan. Trying to get out of there is King. He's taken down. That's holding the footy. And the sign's suddenly not good for Richmond. It's amazing when a poor team goes in and sits down after a good quarter or a good half. Sometimes they're content with what they've done. Certainly the Magpies won't be content. This ball falls to Medhurst, snaps across the body and gets another one. His second. Uh-oh. Again, just watch this when the ball's in the air. This contest drew three Richmond defenders to the two Collingwood forwards. There they go. There's Cloak, Rocker in position. And then it was Medhurst that stayed down. His direct opponent was in that contest there, just coming over the top. Or McGuan, sorry, going back into the contest. Had no idea what he was going back into. I mean, it looks courageous, but what he needed to do then was just back the two-on-two -two contest and stay at ground level against his direct opponent. Live pitches here. Some impressive to go. No warming up. Trying to get himself right in the rooms. He'd be pleased if he could find the scoreboard because Collingwood in front, Medhurst... Richmond free kick. Yeah, so against no Fraser this time. So him. Medhurst and Rocker take their tallies to two for the match and put the pies in front. Graham. Another kick not hitting its target. Player under pressure. Connors. Another one of the youngsters and Tuck. That was very good to Thirstfield. They need a goal, the Tigers. They've been in front all night. Richo went early. Clement had him just where he wanted him. O'Brien got it from Lapuria. And Collingwood have started very well here. Obri. And running hard, Burns, and he can keep running. No, decides not to. Davis, and then Davis, oh. brilliant kick. That's the difference in the two sides, though, isn't it? Richmond went forward, two poor kicks on their way to their forward line. Turnover, and Colin would just possess the ball with so much more cleanliness. Well, Tim, Richmond kicked two goals in the first two minutes of the match, and Collingwood looked like kicking three goals in the first four and a half minutes of the second half here. Medhurst, normally a left to righter, so maybe not the absolute best angle for him. He's kicked two. He got four the last time he played against Richmond in a Collingwood jumper. Needs a big match, and the angle was the wrong one for him. And Terry Wallace is thinking right now, how long can I leave Delidio in the goal square at the other end of the ground? That leg speed might be handy. Collingwood on top by five points. Newman told to hurry it up. Walker comes to him. King will need to go. In fact, it was Waynes. Hands to it. Davis pulls it back to the middle. Lecuria. Well, at the moment, the Tigers can't get the footy. They have hardly touched it. They haven't been able to clear here very cleanly either. That just to a one-on-one -on -one contest. Meta is good in the air, but this bloke's been magical, hasn't he, in the early part of this quarter? So good with his kicking inside 50. Paul Lecuria back in the team tonight. Not the greatest kick at goal. This will hurt the Tigers. Oh. No damage done. It's out of bounds on the fall. And that was a stuttering approach from the outset. So they're putting the squeeze on them too, aren't they? Mick needs a double brandy. He's really firing up at the box. Realises the danger of losing to the bottom team. That's just a no-no in the current competitive situation. Jackson, that's a beautiful kick, and he comes to McGuan. 
Luke McGowan, who tonight has been kicking like his injected namesake, Mickey. Let's see what he does with this one. Right half back. Just needs to get his balance. Not That's bad. Better. That's better. Pollack on the lead takes the mark. McGowan's got wonderful skill overhead and fine courage, but his kicking has been disappointing. Richo gave up front position. Well done by the Shores. Richo was girt by Shores. Opportunity behind O'Bree. Heath Shaw goes down towards half forward. Terrible kick. And McGuan will get to do it again. Collingwood's had 14 scoring shots to five since quarter time. Eight, six to five goals. So they've had some dominance. Newman to Tivendale. Now he's in the corridor at the moment. So he run it down very short and gets to Pettifer, who's going to give off to Tivendale on his left. Now Pettifer wide. Bowden, well Ooh. done by Thomas in the front. And then Brown and Thomas beats a couple and gives it to Swan. That's a really big win for Collingwood. Swan's handball to Tuvi. Tuvi quickly on to Davis. It's had a fantastic start to this half to O'Brien. Ducked, but was clever. Improvised. Doesn't quite give a handball out. Oh, magic, Harry. The big H. And then Josh gives it up, Fraser. He's having one of those nights. I just, I just don't understand that play from Tivendale before. They were actually in the corridor. You call, called it correctly. The right kick was a long kick to Richo, who was one out. I reckon Harry Houdini would have taken notes over the other Harry just then, don't you? What was it, the big H or the big O? Bring it back. No, let's bring it back. It's coming back. It's a free kick. Going to the Tigers on the outer side. That's the throw. Guts by O'Brien, just diving after that one. But unfortunately, Johnson's got the free. Go short. Not only do they go short, they demand the man comes forward and takes that mark low down, often going to the ground. Not good policy. This guy's been terrific. Thursfield goes towards half forward. Tivendale. Well. He just sailed through the air, but forgot to put the hands up. Thomas, through midfield. Cloak has got it. They've got extra men flooding down the ground. Goes looking for Swan. Had it knocked away. Camped in front. A half chance for Cloak. Tigers, though, on the rebound. Rain's falling to the ground, assisted by Edwards. Now Tevendale goes back, and they work it nicely. Tuck gave it to Johnson. First field. Now Bowden. Short one to Rains. Who's next? They've got to utilise their tall forwards more. You can see Patterson with the arm up, just drifting the way towards the Great Southern Stand. He's having an aperitif now. Ball comes in short. Jackson dropped it. Burns gets it away. Well, took forever to develop. Swan a little chip over the top. Cook's got it. Richmond are now playing like a lowly side, aren't they? made the point before, Tim, about their worst ever season. 1960, two wins, two draws. You get the feeling that, is beat the right word? Yeah. they got to beat that. And they'll do it on merit. Here's Cook. Directly in front, 35 metres out, and the youngster tugs it away to the left. Made his debut last week. 23rd man taken in the 2005 draft. 13 possessions on Dabu last week. I reckon some idiot in the crowd's got a laser light. Look at that. Just showing it in Kane Johnson's face. Shined it on Cook a moment ago, too, when he had that ball inside 50. And a couple of poor shots for goal in this quarter. Lecuria and Cook missed by a long way. Well, that'll happen if you get a light shone in your face, Bruce. Better than the watch at the, uh, the tennis. Johnson wide to Pettifer. Well, I'm going to find out a bit more about Richmond tonight. They got themselves into a winning position again. Let's just see how they can handle the second half because they're still in with a chance. Long kick by Pettifer inside their half-forward flame, but not inside the 50, and Clement runs it over the line. There hasn't been a time in this third quarter where they've looked convincing when they've gone forward. Clement being pretty good tonight. He's such an important player. Had hardly missed a match for about three seasons until his troubles this year with the calf. And Collingwood need him at his top for the finals. 
Jackson, who made a big blue a moment ago. That's a good long kick to the goal square and running away for a boundary throw in. Ricky, prefer... what's happening with Richo? Yeah, he came off the ground a couple of minutes ago and he was not happy. He booted the water bottle. Probably the best left foot kick he's ever done. With Presti off the ground, it's unusual that they've got Richo on the bench. But it went straight. Tossed in. Tuck was up. Brian. O'Bree. Slips it away. Shaw. Around the outer side. Heath Shaw. Too nimble for Patterson. Well, Patterson corralled him. Not bad. Shaw. Up towards Davis. King fell over, but quickly to his feet. Jackson to King. She will like King. Drives it across the ground. Pettifer waits. Coming back was Lockyer. Pettifer favoured by the kick. 75 metres from goal. Graham leads. That's ignored. Just put it long to Polak, sir. Well, sort of. Polak will have the run at this one. Got hands to it. And they'll get a goal as a result. Edwards will go in and kick it. Sometimes old-fashioned is best. That is a great call, Dennis. When they've got those four options down there, they've got the tall targets. If you're going to play a big, tall bloke like Graham down there, just kick the ball on top of his head, try and get a contest. That's all that happened here. All we did was get a contest. The ball was punched away, and Edwards just found himself in the right position to get an easy goal. It is old-fashioned football, but it has withstood the test of time too. Sure. If you look upfield, you see a one-on-one. -on -one, go for it. That's his first kick tonight. He's the youngest guy out there. It's his 13th game. I said earlier, he hasn't played in a winning team. He's put Richmond level. He shows a bit, though, too, doesn't he? He's part of the Richmond future. Absolutely. Well, Tuck took it cleanly and then uh, put himself under pressure, but he got it to Foley. He was in safe hands, wasn't it? Foley to Jackson, and Jackson unloads to full forward. Well done, Delidio at the back. And then Brown and O'Brien. Brown's in trouble now. Goal second, O'Brien get him. But Brown did really well there to fetch the ball off O'Brien. And they look dangerous again when they go quickly to that spot about 10 metres out of the top of the square. That's when they look dangerous. So Presti Giacomo back out there. Saw him in the warm-up down below. Lock has been terrific. Safety first kick. So scores level here. As a midfielder, Bruce, what you should always be doing at a stoppage is just looking at what you're facing when you go forward. Just look at whether or not they've got a spare player across half-back. If you look up and you see one-on-one -on -one contest, get it there quickly. Brian and Patterson. Handball by Tuck was good to Foley. He started all this for Richmond tonight. And a terrific kick inside. And Jackson can bomb it a long way. Important in the last few minutes, Jackson as well goes short. And Polak deciding to lead that time. Just switching it up. Takes the mark. He's got a great set of hands. They've got Preston Giacoma off the field now. So they're down one of their key big defenders, Collingwood. This is what they've got to attack. Richo's coming back onto the field, so they're further going to be stretched in the back line. Polak spots a man in the pocket. Well, that kick is going to take a long time to get there, and as you'd expect, arriving with the ball, several Collingwood players. Brown got ahead to it. Down goes Tambling. Well, that flew in the face of what's working for them. Polak should have had a shot. He's a long kick. Here's Brown. <laughs> Just balancing on his head there. He can do anything. Tuck was looking for free. You took it out of the ruck. <laughs> took it out of the ruck and you were tackled. That's his set play, isn't it, Tuck? Mm. So bad result there for the Tigers. Aubrey. He's sure who. Gets him. Broke quickly, Shaw. Johnson now. That's not a great kick, but Johnson held up by McGuan. Oh. Unlucky not to get a free. And then Tivendale to Jackson, who's played very well since he dropped that mark. Back to Jackson from Bowden. Now, this kick has to be good, and it's very, very good. Because Newman really didn't have to break stride. And then goes to Richo. That's... Oh. Well, he's dropped it. Unbelievable. I was about to say, it's just about the best passage of play for Richmond for the night. And then Pettifer besieged by Collingwood players. Aubrey Richardson goes in hard. How did he drop that, Tim? It just... <laughs> it drains the confidence out of the players when they see things like this happen. You just wonder how he can drop a chess mark like that, Richo. So does Terry Wallace. 
not happy. Understandably so. Foley. Johnson. Sends it high back towards the 50. They let it bounce. Coming up Heathshaw who's been terrific. Got it away. Goal sack. Lovely hand pass. Back to the middle. Maxwell. Now some run. This is Cook through midfield. Looks down towards half forward. Sets it up. Rocker will be dangerous from here. Could have almost got a free. Medhurst can he get through? No. Wonderful tackle. Bowden took him down. No advantage there. It will come back to Joel Bowden. It seemed for a moment Medhurst was clear. Good play here by Bowden. Just went back early to claim Rocker. Rocker just trying to push him out of the way and then just getting back quickly enough to knock the ball away. And Medhurst doing exactly what he should, just camping underneath Rocker in that contest. Tigers around the other side. This is Polak. Joel Bowden much maligned by even Tiger supporters, but Gee, when you watch the tapes back, he does little wrong. And again there, the spoil and then the tackle. He's trying his heart out. Don't worry about that. Jackson to King. He's been all Australian in best and fairest That's a couple better. of times each in the last three years. That is a good kick from Howard to Brown. Couldn't be in better hands, Bruce. Outside his range. Now, what can he do? I agree with you. He's, uh, I reckon, the most intelligent Richmond player oh. by a long stretch. Now, he got himself into a spot, <laughs> and then he had to kick to the top of the goal square. Polak with half a chance. 2v. Patterson got down low. Polak, terrific smother. 2v. Lucuria used Johnson. Backtracks. Quick handball. Locke has been outstanding yet again tonight. Up and under, Jackson versus Fraser. Good mark. He's had a big 10 minutes as this chestnut as he goes in board and finds Reigns. Reigns plays on immediately. Got it away to Johnson, to Howard. Forward of the wing. Down towards the attacking 50. The mark is taken by Patterson. Patterson with one goal tonight. Too far out to score. He's a willing worker, though. Pettifer, closer to goal. Still a sharp angle. One thing I have noticed about this forward line, despite the fact that they've loaded up with some of their stars, Richmond, there's no real cohesion between their forwards. They're all, well, on, on occasion, three or four of them are ending up at the same leading space. And obviously they haven't played a lot together and something that they will develop over time if they're going to persist with this type of forward line. But tonight it's just not working properly for them. At least for the moment, though, Tim, they've stopped the route, haven't they? They've sort of just bought themselves some time. And Jackson's one of those players, had nine disposals. He's a kid I like. Makes some terrible mistakes, but I think there's a big upside for him. Pettifer, meantime, puts it out of bounds on the full, so that's a bad miss. It was for the lead. He scored nothing. And really, they've done it because they've reverted back to what made them successful in the first half, the Tigers. Kicking it long into the forward line, by and large. Clement comes out. That's a good kick. Lockyer, left half back. Getting high numbers, Lockyer. We haven't had a goal or a score in over seven minutes. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it was a freewheeling game up to half time. Good kick to Cloak. King had to give it away. It'll come back to Cloak. And who is on Cloak at the moment? He was free there on the wing. And then goes with a long one to Fraser. Full forward, well read though by Reigns, who then gets himself into trouble. He's got to get it out. He does. Tivendale couldn't quite break, but he did well to Pettifer. Pettifer to Bowden, to Jackson, yet another posse. Can he make it work? Touches it on the ground, gets around Brian, puts Foley under the pup. He's used to that, Foley. He arched his back and he sprinted. Oh. And then Jackson made an absolute mess of it. Well done by Johnson. The captain showing the way. And then Patterson to Tivendale. That was good footing. Oh, what about the hands? <laughs> as untidy as Jackson was then, he actually was trying to make the right play, and that was to keep the ball moving. Great hands there by Johnson. And the big fella wasn't quite sure exactly what he should do with the ball, but in the end, he made the right decision, giving it to Tivendale, and that's a beautiful kick to Delidio. The big fella's played pretty well, Patterson. He's a smart player. It's kick three to Lidio, and here the marks inside 50. He's on a PB already. Never had he kicked three before tonight. Has he got four? He has, and Richmond are back in front.
Well, they looked awful in that first five minutes after half time, but they've just been able to regain their composure. There's a mistake there by Jackson trying to force a play, but it was the wise head then of Johnson who got the ball to the correct play, cleared the congestion, and then they're able to move the ball well. But he's got a lovely pair of hands to Lidio. Jumps early, takes the ball at a high point. Let's get down to Ricky Olorenshaw. Just an update for you, Dennis, on Preston Giacomo. He's doing some run-throughs around the boundary now. He's done some stretching. He spoke to the doctor and gave him a nod and said he feels OK. Colin would have worked in overtime to get him back out there. They've spoken to James Clement twice now. I think they're pretty keen to get him off the ground, give him a rest and get Presty back out there, especially with Richmond loading up with tools. Addison flicks That's it down. Time. Tippendale tries to back out. Johnson. Brian's got him. Falling to the ground. He got it away, though. Jackson again. Gets a hand pass through to Tivendale. Back it comes to Patterson. We've seen this before. They're running now. How it's a long kick. He's kicked this one long. Another handball there from Kane Johnson. That was just outstanding. But once again, when Richmond have got back on top at the stoppages, that's when their game has begun to flow again. And that's good work by Patterson just to recognise that the ball's in Richmond's hands, actually to run forward into some space and then to use their handball intelligently again. Collingwood being challenged here. They've had 10 goal scorers tonight, Richmond. Only the second time that's happened this year. The other time was against the Crows when they went down narrowly at Amy. So the Tigers have done so well here after Collingwood threatened to break their spirit at the start of this quarter and Richardson takes the mark. They're surging again here. They are, and once again, they won the ball from the clearance. But Clement actually expected one of his teammates to come into this contest. Have a look. There he is going back, just trying to grab hold of Richo just to block his run at the ball. He immediately looks around at the other defenders saying, OK, where were you? And Presti's waiting to come on. They need him back out there. Big kick for Richo. Goal here. Gives them a cushion. Good kick. He's kicked two. They're three in front. I reckon that's nearly the most important kick he's had all year. <laughs> well, it, it, they've, they've really stamped their control back on this game. There's King just getting the ball from the stoppage. And that's a really smart kick, too, to the one-on-one -on -one there with Richo. But he worked his way to the front of the contest. Clement actually expected somebody else from his Collingwood defence to come over the top and knock that ball away. Kane Johnson's been important since he came back onto the ground. Started this second half on the bench. Matthew Richardson with two goals. And again, the Tigers have kicked clear. Gutsy stuff. And the challenge squarely with the Magpies. Can they regroup and get back in once more? Fraser hooks it down. Guess who? 20 possessions for Foley. Down towards half forward, Heath Shaw. Wonderful balance in the air, Heath Shaw. Plays on immediately. Swings it across the ground. Taken by Maxwell. Looping hand pass. Hits the ground awkwardly. Well, Davis made it look OK. Just chopped it up for Burns. Burns kicks inside the forward 50. Medhurst in trouble, taken high. Plays on and kicks a goal. Backed himself and reached the reward. He's looked lively tonight, Medhurst, hasn't he? Kicked three goals and has looked dangerous at ground level, just waiting for the ball to come to the ground. As we see Presta Giacomo coming back onto the ground. The tale of the game so far tonight has been the centre clearances. Richmond have taken the ball out there on 15 occasions to Collingwood six. In this third quarter, Richmond have had five clearances from the centre square to the Pies one. So... Medhurst has kicked 14 goals this season in 11 games, and half of the goals have come against Richmond, four and three. Presti back on to Richo. Collingwood now respond. It's been that sort of night, hasn't it? This quarter unfolding now like the other two after it was a stalemate for a while. Burns, Thirstfield's done a great job. Cloak's had a quiet night. Newman to Tiffendale. 
Running hard. Kick to Richardson. Good mark. That's a great mark. They had to use that ball correctly because Collingwood had the spare player across half back. It was Heath Shaw. Richmond had the spare player in their midfield. It's a long way from goal. Now, Delidio's in the goal square with Harry O'Brien. Richo won't be able to get it all the way to there. There they are. Delidio with four goals. So Richardson, long kick to the pocket. Polak was there. Delidio just couldn't get into the crumbing position. And then Fraser's handle to Davis has been very lively. Davis to Swan to Cook. Midway between the lines, half back and centre wing. Margin 12 points, just over two minutes till three quarter time. Very interesting game, pivotal game for the Magpies in their finals aspirations. Shaw to Maxwell. Now Shaw wants it back. The old My Sharona line bouncing around there, calling for the football. Now he's got it. Runs it up to half back, promptly stops. It was clever actually. Let Pettifer come a little further forward, then popped it over his head. Cook has it. On the wing, Cook goes down towards half forward. Cloak will fly from the side. From behind, big leap, Thursfield, almost the mark. Down goes Bowden, outnumbered, simply gave it away. And Cloak, playing without confidence tonight, puts it out of bounds on the full. Quite amazing, though, Tim, and we've spoken about this. In the last decade, there's Thursfield, who landed very heavily. That was a huge leap. Just winded. He'll be OK. There's Foley. Again with the football. In the last decade, it's fair to say that footy like coffee has become very complicated. But what we've seen in this quarter in particular, both sides going to tall marking players. And what you've got to do when you're assessing what defenders don't like is put yourself in their situation. Here's Maxwell close to the boundary line. Defenders don't like the high ball against strong marking targets. They feel uncomfortable. And the roles are reversed. On his knees, Jackson, 13 possessions for the turn. Foley, tuck, tambling. Patterson, like him, slips it away to Brown. Brown, the short one is on. Smart. Awkward half volley. Well done, Polak to Reigns. Brown, can he get through? Two wonderful players sure legged him. Well, as it turned out, that was a pretty good result for Collingwood. He couldn't go long then, Brown. There was no one to kick the ball to. Short to Pettifer. To your late goal here would be handy. He can kick it a long way. He can kick a goal from here. Eight. Twelve points in front. Led by eight at half time. Nineteen at quarter time. An up and under. Not going to be a goal. And through for a behind. So Collingwood, who have been now in their last seven games behind it six times at three-quarter time. They've won two of the five that they trailed before tonight in that stretch. <laughs> Richo was Malcolm Sargent <laughs> in Canada. <laughs> he works hard. <laughs> oh, what nonsense. Plays on, Siren beats him. But I reckon that was just a great quarter for Richmond. It was. Because Collingwood took the front running, and at three-quarter time, the Tigers have got a real chance of winning their second game for the season. 95-82, to 82, this is Friday Night Football. And Kane Johnson's back in the centre of the ground, and that's a good thing for the Tigers. Dale Thomas was quiet in that third quarter. He'll need to come alive for the Magpies in this last. Final term. Upset brewing. Friday Night Football. Rucks go at it. Brian knocks it down. With courage, Tuck went after it. Was that in the back? Lockyer went to ground. Foley on his knees does brilliantly. Feeds it forward. Patterson in the grasp. Gets it away. Tuck on the line of the square. Kicks inside the 50. Oh, awkward half volley for Delidio. Picked up by Clement. Under pressure. Scrambles it out of defence. The Tigers, a couple of them. Keen to get in the action. Jackson lays it off to Foley. Jackson had his best quarter, the third of his career, and now Pettit has got a free kick. Thank you. Thanks, two. 13 possessions for Jackson in that third term. There's Richardson. Clements now gone to Delidio. That was a call of play on, and sneaking up like a librarian behind was Davis. In the pocket, this is Johnson. Oh, trying to pull that one in was Reigns. Goes after it. Well done by Tuvey. Well done by Richardson, got it out of there. Pettifer sends it very high to full forward. Clement should mark, and he does. Well, 
plays on. Now a real chance for the Magpies. Maxwell did so well on Polak a moment ago to keep him out of the contest. Then Swan's on the end of it, but his kick's not a good one. And Newman cuts it off. Stakes are high here, aren't they? I mean, both teams have got so much to lose if they don't win here tonight. King, that sounds silly, because Richmond are bottom of the table, but they have got such an opportunity to have some joy late in the season. Richardson back to King and Collingwood well there in the eight. And it happened on this very night last year that they lost to the bottom team in the same position. O'Brien, Patterson did well, but Lockyer was just as good. And then Tuck, clever to get a handball away and got it to Thursford, who swings it wide to Richo. Richardson takes his time. Can he deliver? He does. <laughs> it wasn't sweet, but it hit the spot. That was the third attempt Richmond have made going into their forward 50. The first two didn't hit Delidio. He had Clement done. Cole, look at the spin on that ball. It's a good mark, actually. It was the doozer. Now, Timmy didn't have a shot from the other end, did he, in the third quarter he laid it off but he kicked the first two goals of the match and Polak just missing and every goal Richmond gets in this last quarter is going to make it so hard you would think if they got three or four Collingwood are going to find it very difficult Richmond's last two scoring shots behind they're only two since quarter time two they got it from Johnson to half forward and Clark stop short of the ball the Curia Lockyer floats one inside the forward 50. This would sting if Richmond missed at one end and Collingwood got one at the other. It won't happen, at least for the moment. Bowden Ooh. gave it to Reigns, and a good grab is taken on the line of the square by Patterson. That's become the most critical kick for Richmond tonight, that one out of the defensive 50. Patterson, a really nice story. Fast tracked because they were short of Ruckman, and hasn't he matured quickly? King inside the forward 50. Delidio should get 50. That's the third time. Not 50. That is the third time he's done Clement on the lead. So he's taking him right to the goal square and making his lead from there. They're long searching leads. He's got terrific pace. You can see the coach likes Pato. Two options here. King ignored Richo. The first one went to the longer option, the right option. Very close to a 50. Delidio steps inside the 50, doesn't matter, didn't need it, kicks the goal. Collingwood on their knees, he's got five. Well, that could be the match-winning move of the game, couldn't it? Terry Walsh lining him up in the forward line out of the goal square. They've looked potent all night, Richmond, when they've gone for it, and they've got the ball quickly. But that was the kick that had to stick, that first kick out of the defensive 50, got to Patterson, and then they were able to actually get some run off half back. And that's an area that Collingwood have been good at actually stifling them at tonight. Five to the Lidio. First Tiger to get five this season in a match. Ricky, what about Josh Fraser? Yeah, I just observed Josh come to the bench at three-quarter time. He looked very sore. He's been... Up to 20 points. They've been good, the Tigers, and challenged. Tuck in hard, lock you with him. Foley, a bounce, he arches his back. Foley a second, he gets inside 50, lines them up. Foley, the spirit of the club has put them home. Sensational. What a goal by Foley. What a running goal by Foley. Dennis talked about him being the spirit of the team earlier tonight. And now Collingwood have got some problems. And that's his eighth clearance. And you would have to say that is his best clearance of the night too. Off the rookie list, if you don't mind. What a story. Over the top, Patterson knocks it forward. This is Lockyer inside the centre square. Kicks inside the forward 50. 
Thursfield almost the mark. And in fact, I think he'll get the free kick. Hasn't he played a game, Thursfield? Claimed his biggest scalp tonight. Running with the football, got it from King. King is another shining light for the Tigers this season. Feisty halfback. There he is again. Got it back from Tivendale. Kicks down towards half forward through the hands of the leading Pettifer. Tuvi getting a hand in there was Polak. Maxwell's hand pass untidy. And this ball is out of bounds from Johnson intended for O'Brien. Just another look at the Foley goal, which was so outstanding. I think we did have audio problems, but what a game he has played. That is so symbolic of his 2007 season. Here he goes again. He's away again, yes, indeed. He down towards half forward. Has the presence of mind to go short to pole. That wasn't 15 to the pocket. Now a chance for Pettifer. This could just about end it. They've taken giant strides tonight. Well, they could blow Collingwood away now, the way they're playing. They actually have their tails up. They've got complete confidence. There's Mick Moldhouse. He's got all the worries in the world now. How can he turn this around? Once again, it was Foley, who just ran away from the stoppage. Didn't lose his head, went inside, but it wasn't 15 metres. It was play on his Pettifer, who's had a quietish night. Hasn't been able to get amongst the goals, but he's been able to play a supporting-type role. Seven two to a goal. Richmond have kicked since uh, Collingwood hit the front early in the third quarter. They're smashing them in the clearances. I came here tonight, Tim. Not sure whether Foley would be in the All Australian team. I reckon he's in there now for 2007. He has been remarkable tonight. Well, he is the number one centre clearance player in the competition, and he gets enormous attention week in week out. As we see, Lucuri has now gone to him. His job is just to blunt his influence. Well, can Collingwood, do they have any tricks left? They need to show something here. Starting to think about percentage. I'm thinking the other way, Collingwood. They've got to hang on. They won't go out of the eight this weekend if they lose. They could drop one position only down to seven for that top four spot. That's looking remote. Jackson inside the 50. They've got a taste now, the Tigers. Polak and Maxwell, it's not coming out. Jackson trying to fetch it ball up. Nathan Buckley, who really wanted to play tonight. Watching this one slip away. Patterson, Johnson, Brown, strong tackle. Thomas has gone out of the game since half time. Thomas just 13 possessions. I think he had 12 at half time. Terry Wallace. Well, he's had an influence tonight. May have been a stroke of genius, a match winning move to put Delidio on the forward line. In fairness, Timmy probably needed a match winning move. There's Foley again, takes them on. But what he decided was that, okay, we can match Collingwood in the midfield. We get enough of the ball there. We send it forward often enough. We load our forward line up. That's going to be our simple game plan. And what Delidio's done tonight is what they've been hoping Brown would do for the last three years, isn't it? Well, he hasn't just, been fit. Well, he's still down there too, yep. so you still got to mind him. Tambling. Thursfield. And they've stood up so far, the Tigers, and they've got a big lead. Tambling. Johnson's third quarter was important. And the free kick coming back. Frustrated Collingwood right now. That... Match fact, no consecutive wins since round 10. They are the only team in the competition, Collingwood, that haven't lost two in a row all year. So it's been a sameness about their season. Oh, Richo! Didn't quite play it. Polak probably didn't quite hold it. Tivendale, ball up. Gee, he had it for a while, the big fella, didn't he? How many times does he juggle it here? One, two, three. Right decision. Another scramble, holding the ball. He took it, I think, cleanly from the bounce, Tivendale. Lecuria. 
Now Fraser, thought of half back, kicks it up towards the wing. In front, Tuvi. Oh, clever by Pettifer. Edwards took a while, though. That's in the back. Pettifer will get the free kick against Lockyer. Everything falling into place now for the Tigers. I suppose when Michael Malthouse thinks about the last few weeks, an unexpected loss to Brisbane. They were thrashed in that game. And now this tonight won't fill him with confidence. The one thing Collingwood can't do is think they're better than they are because they're not a great team, but they work very hard. This smacks of overconfidence. Richardson, not sure what that smacked off. Not a good kick on his left foot. Maxwell, Presto Giacomo, heads for the boundary line. Pete Shaw... Nicely worked, although Burns sold into trouble by Turvey, who gets it back, kicks to the wing, goal sack rarely sighted, fingertips to it, arriving quickly was Reigns, almost the meat in the sandwich, seated, he slipped it away, Bowden tackled by Swan, trying to keep it alive down there was Medhurst, did that, but not much will come of it. And on that point, uh, Dennis, they lost to Melbourne in the Queen's birthday game, and Melbourne were right down in second bottom, which they have been for most of the year. I think the point is that Collingwood can't afford to give up on work rate. Once they do, they're easy, well, not easy pickings, but anybody can pick them off. And that's what's happened tonight. They averaged 330 disposals, Collingwood. They've had 228 to this stage of the game. So they just haven't been able to get their hands on the ball. They haven't been able to win the contested possession. I think you mentioned it earlier, Dennis. There'll be a lot of clubs right now barracking hard for the Tigers. Sure. Because Collingwood are letting a couple behind them in, perhaps, and certainly a couple in front of them that were going to be challenged by them in the next couple of weeks, giving them some breathing space. Official crowd tonight, 49,550. So terrific turn up. Bottom of the table, Richmond. Oh, Josh Fraser, your right arm is over his neck. So Fraser's free. Collingwood just can't get anything to happen. They haven't scored in this final quarter. Fraser's kick to space. Rocker. Kick four in the last term last week. Can he start something here? Good looking kick. Perhaps he has. He's got his third. Bruce, there's time. And the trademark of Collingwood's performances all year has their ability to actually run games out. And they are a disciplined side. They work to a plan. What they need to do, though, is get back on top in the midfield, and that's the area where Richmond is still touching them up. Clearances will be huge in the next five minutes, ten minutes. I just wonder about uh, maybe even pushing Leon Davis back into the centre, just for a bit of sparkle around the stoppages. Anthony Rocker, 39 goals for the season, including two hauls of five, most recently, last week against Carlton. Now he's got three, and if they're to get back, he's the pivotal man. Back in the middle. Margin 26 points. Cleverly down to Burns. Well done by Fraser. The kick comes inside the forward 50. Medhurst falling to the ground. Lays it off. Swan couldn't control it. Tries to feed it to Cloak. First field got him. Oh, well done, Newman, with Dash. Logs the hand pass over the top. Tuck shuffles away. Kicks to half forward. Well, short of half forward, just beyond the wing. Connors has got it. Looks good, this kid. Hasn't a touched a lot of the ball tonight. It's a long kick, but I doubt we'll see that here. He's a left footer, too. He sends himself away on the right. Got a problem. Goes to Tivendale. Tivendale presented with a problem then. Well, through the legs of Patterson. Richo coming up. <laughs> He's unorthodox. Coming through as Foley. Foley's kick not good that time, and Fraser takes it. Kane Johnson has been rested at the moment. Kane would look their best just after half time while he was off the ground. Gee, Fraser. It's a poor kick to O'Brien. Connors works it forward. No free kick. Graham can't quite do anything with it. We heard that he'd been injured earlier in the night, and then Colin would get out. Cook. Oh. Wobbly old kick, but he gets it outside the 50. Shaw gets a free kick. Advantage given to O'Brien. So a let off for Collingwood. There's still a pulse, all right. O'Brien with a third. He's given it to the right bloke, you'd reckon. Thomas will go for this. A second bounce. He'll line it up, and he'll bring Collingwood closer by just a point. Oh, that was a big play. 
Just feel that Richmond have got to keep scoring here, Tim. They can't go defensive. Thomas didn't need that last bounce. By the time he got his balance back, he was headed towards the pocket. Here's McGuan. McGuan the short kick, and that's okay. Connors inside the forward 50. Awkward one for Pettifer. Beat him. Coming up behind Deledio to Pettifer. Back to Deledio. Deledio with five in his pocket already. Goes to a man in the pocket. That's Pettifer bending it back. Richo. Fingertips to it. Jacko in midair. It was across the line. In fact, it was Patterson who tried to kick it across the line, but he was across before the footy or just after the footy. But as you can see, no chance of a goal. He's got some tricks, Pato, hasn't he? Clement. High kicking. From Lecuria. Had to work harder there, Tip and Dale. Cloak, good strong mark. And then quickly runs off Thursfield, who had hit the deck. And Cloak's difficult ball. Good oh. mark in the front. McGonald's a dreadful kick by Cloak coming in. It had to it had to reach Rocker at the top of the square. He had a one-on-one -on -one contest with Bowden. And then Bowden to King to Bowden. So no panic. They've done well there, Richmond to tuck. So we question their decision making in the third quarter, and right now, tonight at least, it stood up pretty well. Back inside to McGuan. This is where Collingwood really have to pressurise them again. They've seen it early in the game. When they do that, Richmond do cough the ball back up. Every minute here, just vital for Richmond. Four and a half goal lead. Bowden from King. When you're kicking it sideways and backwards, the first time you miss a target, it can hurt. Bowden's kick. Took a while to get there. Tiffendale took the mark. Look at those disposals. More than 100 the difference. Should be a lot more lopsided. 26 points. Just over seven minutes remaining. Tivendale hugs the boundary. Richardson could have been held. Tracks it. Controls it. Comes away with it. Well done. Richardson has a bounce. Goes down towards half forward. The kick's a shocker. Wanders across the 50. Tigers in number around the football. Brown's hand pass. He got it from Deledio. Was missed by Reigns. Now Collingwood in the opposite direction. O'Brien. That's a clever kick to space. Lecuria, the worst of all bounces. Knocked away by Tevendale. Taken by Howard. Howard goes to Richardson once more. Like the Doug Hawkins wing. It's the Matthew Richardson wing out there. Off his step. Just lays it back. Patterson. Reigns, Foley into space. Reigns thought about it. Now goes for distance. Long down towards Polak. Set himself. Graham from behind as well. Hand pass from Connors. Now here's a chance. Bowden, the defender. Forced a hand pass. Taken by Brown. Did he have the football? Socket off the ground by Clement. <laughs> Foley kept it alive. Johnson to Davis. Collingwood came away. Menhurst to take him. McGuan closed brilliantly. Had a good night, McGuan. He, he first had three to, kicks were awful. Mehurs had to he, he had to meet that ball harder than what he did, though. You have to have a feel for the game there that somebody is going to be closing in on you. Go back a minute, Tim. That bounce, Lecuria got it half forward. You just feel it's Richmond's night now, don't you? you Howard do. done well. Howard after half time. Maxwell good tackle. Connors has got busy in the last quarter. Edwards, well, he's like Dale Thomas with that. A bounce. This will be something, but he oh. misses. <laughs> oh, it was still something. He did a Dale Thomas to Dale Thomas. <laughs> Terry Willis just rode that. Oh, it was so said to me earlier in the year, Terry Wallace over in Adelaide, that he reminded him of a young Craig Bradley. Well, he takes the game on like Craig Bradley. He did. He said in his article this morning, watching the development of Edwards gives him a tingle in his spine. Not sure where that gave him a tingle. There's O'Brien. Just pops it across to O'Brien. He's got it left half back. And I think just to go for the jugular, Coach Watson, we swing Deledio onto the ball now for a few legs for the short leads. What do you think? No harm in doing that now. Out of bounds on the outer side. A little more enthusiasm, if you don't mind. I was, 
I was just looking down the other end of the ground there. Joel Bowden's had plenty of the ball in the back half. Foley's been terrific in the midfield, as has Tuck. Jackson had a real purple patch in that third quarter. And King's had terrific uh, run around the contest too tonight. Collingwood's best is Clement with 17. It's a long way off the pace, set by the Tigers. Tuck, too slick for Newman. Burns falling to the ground. Presta Giacomo boots a ball barely. Brian comes back. The kick from Cook inside the forward 50. Rocker, juggled attempt at the mark. Nothing doing. Lecuria is through. Reese Shaw running into an open goal. 15 metres out. Too little, too late. Rocker almost marked this ball, just uh, built away there by Bowden and mocked up there by Lecuria. They, they just haven't had enough ball winners tonight, the Magpies. O'Bree's been really down in the midfield too. He's been averaging, in the last three weeks, he's been averaging 27 touches a game, but he's been well held tonight. The midfield from Richmond's done a marvellous job. Back to 21 points, but just over four minutes remaining. With all those extra disposals, just one more scoring shot for the Tigers. Remarkable. Gold sack inside the 50. Cloak. Quick goal. He will make it interesting. Brian slaps them off. Oh, terrific smother. Brian just took one step too many. And then Polak, who may have gone back here, goes to the boundary line. And was that McGuan again? That was McGuan. It was. So Collingwood suddenly, Melbourne next week gets pretty big here on a Friday night, doesn't it, for the Magpies? And then Sydney here on a Saturday afternoon and Adelaide on a Friday night at Telstra Dome. So what looked like a lovely little stretch, Carlton, Richmond and Melbourne, Tim could undo them at the end of the year. It looked like a soft ending to the season for them, didn't it? Johnson been very good and Richo certainly has worked so hard. Well, Carlton took it up to them last week. You can't forget that. I mean, Carlton are one of the other bottom sides in the competition. And midway through the last quarter, they looked like they were going to beat the Pies last week. So you'd have to say Collingwood are just going in terms of their form. They're just going at the moment. Johnson's got it. Jack King, 24 possessions. Across half back. He's an emerging player. Unlikely looking defender, but tough as nails. There's Brown. He's running down the clock. Centering kick, Tambling, haven't seen much of him in the second half, finds some space, or thought he did. Feeds it back, Pettifer, under three minutes to go, Pettifer, Tivendale from behind, couldn't hang on. Medhurst, deep in defence, taken down, O'Brien to Medhurst, he was taken high. Connors, a bit unlucky, Medhurst was going to the ground, he was in real trouble. Has he got swing around? No, has he got swing around? I've got to protect him as well, I've got to protect him. It was accidentally the head, not enough time, though. So Medhurst helped out of a jam there by the Tiger. Involuntary action just taking him high. Given the tone of uh, Terry Wallace's article in the Herald Sun this morning, you'd have to believe that he's going to enjoy this victory. There hasn't been too much to smile about this year he's for been, Terry and his Tigers. He's been blowtorched in the last fortnight, hasn't he? He has. Cloak. He and Rocker just started so quietly tonight, didn't they? Thurstfield's done a really good job on him. Just a high kick. Rocker goes very high and early. No mark. Burns, one of the hard men for Collingwood, but they've been beaten in that area. Johnson's handballing tonight's been very, very clever. And Bowden didn't get a handle on it. And then Richo, he hasn't got that ball quite working for him, but he did OK to Bowden. Gee, this is going to be a sweet victory, isn't it? They've beaten Collingwood. Who they love to beat, like everybody else. And they may cost them big time at the end of the season. That's a difficult one for Patterson. So a season that's had so many twists and turns takes another one tonight. Maybe it's not the biggest upset of the year. Perhaps that was Brisbane in West Coast, but it's close to it. Your top four, Tim. And they're all Richmond players. Foley's had a marvellous night again. Nine clearances. Delidio's kicked the five goals. Tuck's had ten clearances. Been terrific around the contest. And Thurstfield's done a really good job, too, on Cloak. Patterson terrific there decisively. Put it down to King. And they work it away once more. The two left-footers combining. Newman 
to Tivendale to the wing. Jackson, who was so important, gets a free kick. You're under the pump he was a catalyst sorry. when they were challenged. And because they loaded up their forward line tonight, Richmond, too, they actually forced Collingwood to lock down with their defensive players, and they've lost a lot of their drive in the back half because they've been so busy manning up against their direct opponent. Michael Malthouse so demonstrative tonight. As Jackson goes way back. King will go oh. across, and that's a terrible kick. We've sung his praises, but that was not out of the textbook. Rock has got it directly in front, but there isn't time. They trail by 21 points, but the young fellow didn't need that right at the end after the stellar performance throughout. Joel Bell is not happy about that either. He's a direct opponent of Anthony Rocker. Done a pretty good job on him tonight. The last thing he needs is one of his teammates gifting him a goal late in the game. Malthouse would understand losing to the bottom side is such a body blow to their aspirations. And in keeping with the night, Rocker hits the post. And it's fair to say both these coaches, neither is smitten with the other. So the faithful, and it's been a bitter pill to swallow tonight, but you can feel there'll be a lot of emotion for Richmond here. There'll be a spillover in a moment. In an absolutely wretched season, this has been something special for them. And for him. Nathan Foley, one of the many heroes out there tonight. Just a glorious celebration for a team that has suffered. It's great to see, isn't it? You just wonder if they can turn it into something. Not this season, obviously, but maybe something from this point on. Can it be a, a pivotal moment in the careers of a lot of these blokes?